I'll always remember our first campaign event for Hashtag Reform 53. It was January 2020 at the New Zealand High Commission in London. One of my colleagues from the Commonwealth Youth Gender and Equality Network hit play on our campaign video and our call to action flooded the room. Hashtag Reform 53, Together for Legal Equality, is an international advocacy campaign that works to end discrimination against women and LGBT people in 54 Commonwealth countries, the Maldives joining after our campaign launch. I serve as Hashtag Reform 53's legal advisor from my home in Mauritius. Our video urged lawmakers to decriminalize same-sex relationships and workplace discrimination and increase political participation for LGBT people. As the credits flashed across the screen and the lights came back on, I was overcome with emotion. My colleagues, other youth leaders from across the Commonwealth moved in for a group hug, their faces beaming with pride. Our campaign had finally come to life. We spent the rest of our launch week in London meeting with lawmakers, diplomats, faith leaders and community leaders from across the Commonwealth lobbying them to push their governments to commit to reform discriminatory laws. In February, we presented the campaign in Seychelles and Uganda. In March, we spoke at an International Women's Day celebration in Papua New Guinea. We were seeing the world spreading our message. Then. COVID-19 hit. International travel came to an abrupt halt just as we were gaining momentum. I felt disheartened, but never defeated. I'd been here before. Born and raised in Mauritius, I have found it time-consuming and expensive to travel to and from the small island nation. Growing up here, I relied on the internet rather than airplanes to find and join other human rights activists around the world. I quickly learned that networking beyond my country is key to building successful humanitarian advocacy campaigns. This often involves working with international NGOs to create Mauritius-based chapters. When Hashtag Reform 53 started, I helped build a united front of coalition partners across Africa and beyond to boost our chances of success, but I also honed in on Mauritius, where same-sex sexual activity is still criminalized. As part of this effort, I've been encouraging LGBT people in my country to use local courts to challenge discriminatory laws and policies and to promote the enforcement of equal rights laws and provisions that are guaranteed in our constitution. Winning each court case makes the next one easier and inspires more people to proudly and openly express their gender and sexuality. Through greater visibility, we aim to turn the tide from discrimination to equality in Mauritius and across the Commonwealth. COVID-19 travel and safety restrictions required us to rethink our global hashtag Reform 53 campaign, but these hurdles never stopped us. We quickly shifted our activities to the digital space, creating and sharing short films that underline the need for legal reforms that protect women and LGBT people. More than 100,000 people have watched our films on social media and another 50,000 have engaged with our webinar series. Social media has lit up with supporters sharing selfies that show our campaign logo drawn on their palm to emphasize our demand for legal reform. I'm proud of the progress Hashtag Reform 53 has achieved since pivoting online. When our target event, the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, was postponed by one year to June 2021, we worried our campaign would lose steam. Instead, we've built momentum. We're now stronger than ever, eager and ready to showcase the public support we've won for legal reform that will bring about genuine equality for everyone.